Hi there, we're ready to get started. I'm Nicole Jennings, SVP of Paid Digital Media at PMX Agency. Thanks so much for joining our webinar today. This is actually the fourth in our Hot Topic series that we've had this year with Google to share key strategies and industry advancements exclusively for PMX Agency clients. So we're really thankful to Google for being with us today. Um, we're going to focus today on some holiday highlights and results. Um, what we can do this year to still impact the holiday season, and a preview from Google of some hot topics for 2017. We have our primary agency lead from Google with us today, Jamie Blomquist, to present with us on the topic, and we're really excited that she's here. Thanks, Jamie. We have about 25 minutes of content, and then we'll open it up for questions, um, and we'll get started right away. If you do have a question, you can use the chat feature, and like I said, if we have time at the end of the session, we'll, um, we'll answer your question or we'll follow up after the event directly with you. With that, I'm going to jump right in with a quick update on holiday, and Jamie will be sharing some as well. So we're going to put a bow on holiday 2016. All right. So diving right in, years ago the kickoff to the holiday online shopping season was really Black Friday, but it really became Thanksgiving. And what we saw this year was some actual inconsistency in performance across our clients on Thanksgiving Day. We actually chose as an agency not to write a blog post about Thanksgiving Day specifically because the results were really inconsistent all over the board. Um, we really didn't want to misrepresent um, what happened on Thanksgiving Day in paid search. So when we dug deeper into Thanksgiving Day performance, we saw that some, in some cases Thanksgiving orders were being pulled up to the days leading up to Thanksgiving. This was driven by the timing of promotions launching on client sites, so we saw a lot of volume on that Tuesday and Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Many brands are now starting their promotions before Black Friday, as you guys know, and even before Thanksgiving, so that Wednesday is really becoming a critical day. The other thing we saw is that the perceived value of that promotion in the marketplace was really critical on Thanksgiving as well. We actually had one client whose pre-Thanksgiving offer was so well received that when they switched over to the Thanksgiving and Black Friday offer, conversion dipped. So the offer leading into Thanksgiving drove more engagement and more conversions. Really why, why I'm explaining that is for next year, you're planning around promotions for the days before and on Thanksgiving is really becoming just as critical as that Black Friday and Cyber Monday planning. And that really seems like a shift to us in a level of importance that, that there wasn't a lot of focus on previously. So now we will jump to Black Friday. So Black Friday then kicked in in a big way, and we saw much more of what we expected to see, consistent growth across our client base. The industry hit $3 billion in sales online for the first time ever. Um, Adobe reported 22% growth in online sales overall, and PMX clients saw an average lift of 27% in paid search sales year over year. The challenge going into Black Friday this year was, this was the first holiday season with Google removing those right rail ads. We kept reminding our clients of that because it was a story that really started in early 2016, so it was a little bit of an old story that we wanted to bring that focus back to. We knew we had to be aggressive with our bids in order to get exposure for our clients in those four critical text ad positions. On mobile, top positioning was even more critical. Um, mobile volume did skyrocket on Black Friday, and while those CPCs remain lower than desktop, they are rising. At times, we saw CPCs up on Black Friday as much as 30% year over year. Now, some info from Google on what they saw during this kickoff of the holiday season. Great. Thank you so much. So, to layer on some Google data on Thanksgiving, we found that 59% of mobile searches on Thanksgiving Day happened before stores even opened, so perhaps people peeking at their phones underneath a table. Uh, so, we know that mobile is still used primarily as a door-to-store -door device. In fact, 56% of people who start searching for something uh, nearby on their phone visit related business within a day, and 28% of those uh, searches result in a purchase. Uh, from these charts here, you can see that mobile traffic grew steadily throughout the day, uh, with store foot traffic really picking up post-dinner around 6 p.m. Uh, both mobile traffic and foot traffic peaked right around 8 p.m. And overall, 64% of mobile shoppers turned to their phone before heading into a store, and there are very compelling stats about people using their phone in-store, too. Yep. 
And here's some contrasting stats for Black Friday. While it was the reputation for being an early morning rush, uh, the peak for foot traffic was actually in the afternoon. Uh, for Black Friday, mobile plays a dual role here, both e-commerce and in driving foot traffic. Uh, regarding e-commerce, last year more than 50% of holiday shoppers said that they were open to purchasing from new re retailers. Um, that's especially true online. More than three quarters of shoppers who generally go to the same physical stores are, are now all very open to new retailers and brands online making this a great strategy for newer retailers or those who are in the preference building phase. On the physical storefront, mobile makes it easy to explore options no matter when or where someone is shopping. In fact, after searching on Google, 76% of mobile shoppers have changed their mind about which retailer or brand to purchase from, uh, which to uh, Nicole's point, uh, sort of stresses the need to be present and, and navigating a new uh, SERP. Uh, that's in part to mobile. Store traffic grew 65% uh, on Black Friday compared to an average uh, week in November. And while throughout the year people are generally spending less time in stores throughout the year, Black Friday visits jumped 65% compared uh, to the previous week and people are spending more time. Uh, so again, uh, doing a little bit more research and spending a little bit more time uh, on Black Friday than was typical uh, throughout the year. Um, also worthwhile noting is the rise in product reviews on YouTube. So that's not represented here, but it, it is an interesting sort of trend. Uh, so product reviews on YouTube have increased 60% year over year. So think uh, unboxing videos, haul videos, and, and product reviews, which I am certainly guilty of indulging in myself. <laughs> all right, so then let's transition to Cyber Monday. Um, with all the buzz about Thanksgiving and Black Friday and us stressing that so much, the question really became, what does that mean for Cyber Monday? But we, what we saw this year is it still completely rules the holiday season when it comes to volume. With both mobile and PLA volume surging, we really were surprised once again at how much volume brands can drive that day. Um, while we plan for it every year, it still continues to surprise me that there's still plenty of growth to be had on Cyber Monday. We can dive a little bit deeper into PMX Agency's client performance in paid search specifically that day. So looking at um, some specific KPIs, we've been so focused on our Cyber Monday strategies with clients for many years, so we always, some, we always get a little bit nervous about how much growth is, is still possible on that day, but there's still a ton. With a much larger base or starting point on Cyber Monday, we were still able to drive an average 18% growth in paid search sales for our clients. But as you can see from this graph, like we saw on Black Friday, we had to spend more to get that growth and at a higher CPC. Obviously, the big takeaway here is how we budget plan for next holiday season. Um, you know, we'll be really super focused on what do we need in order to stay competitive on a day like Cyber Monday that is so ultra competitive. So then digging in by device. So even if you're a brand that says, oh, my audience isn't on mobile as much as some other brands, during the kickoff to the holiday season, the numbers suggest that everyone's there. Maybe mobile will only be this big for some brands during holiday, but that still means that all clients need to be hyper-focused on that, that mobile experience and paid search strategy. That's something that we're going to be really focused on in our partnership with Google in 2017. We've started that um, sort of in a beta environment this year um, with Google and really focusing, helping our clients on their mobile experience and giving them tips to ensure that when we drive the traffic there, that the, the consumer experience is going to be strong and we can drive those conversions as well. With so much volume potential, it really is worth the effort um, putting, that, putting that focus specifically on your mobile site, which I know brands have done for years and they've been thinking about it, but there really are some um, often low-hanging fruit opportunities to improve that consumer experience on your mobile site. And as you can see here, that's really where we're seeing growth, both on mobile and PLAs. Which, speaking of, so click volume on PLAs was up 37% year over year for our paid search clients on Cyber Monday. This is really critical to our 2017 planning, um, both for holiday next year as well as outside of holiday. With Google search changes and the prioritization of, of the PLA ad formats that Google has really given, our data feed and PLA strategies seem more important than ever. So that's another thing we'll be hyper-focused on. 
in 2017 is what, what can we do to your data feed to make sure you're getting exposure on the right queries. Um, I've done a lot of, of playing around on the SERP this year during the holiday season and have been surprised at how many brands, core brand terms are now serving PLAs and things like that. And, and that becomes strategically really important. If, if someone searches for your, your trademark brand term um, and, and Google is serving PLAs there, what products are serving, serving. That's a really important experience from a consumer perspective. So we'll be super focused on that going forward. Now a little bit more info from Google. Sure. Um, this is uh, maybe not surprising, but women really drive mobile red, uh, the mobile web, searching for buying products at twice the rate of men throughout the holiday season. Uh, the last a uh, week of Christmas, however, men are more likely to complete their mobile purchases. We call this the procrastination zone. <laughs> uh, so think about this uh, as you're thinking about your targeting um, and maybe that shifting uh, gender gap uh, within the holiday season. And for those who think the holiday is behind us and this is all recap, you are not done yet. Uh, for those who joined the Hot Topics webinar in September, we shared this calendar from the MasterCard Spend Pulse study. Um, outside of Black Friday, our biggest in-store shopping days are actually still ahead of us, so don't turn off the faucet just yet, um, especially if supporting your physical stores are a priority, uh, particularly if you're using uh, location extensions or local inventory ads as part of your strategy. Uh, remember, 76% of people who look for a store on their phone will go there within 24 hours. Um, and two of the top five online sales days are still in front of us. From uh, November through mid-December, we see online conversion rates increase as the holidays approach. Uh, so now is a good time to put to work the remarketing and the RLSA list that you've been creating during Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Um, during this time, also consider your messaging. Do you offer quick shipping or even free shipping? Um, now is a good time to really highlight some of those value propositions so that you're capping off the, the holiday and capturing as much opportunity as possible. Yeah, and just to add on to that, so as your paid search agency, we'll be super focused on what our strategy is going into your shipping cutoff. And those of you that do have retail stores, what that strategy is for paid search messaging after the shipping cutoff has happened. So um, obviously, like Jamie said, there are some big days still to be had, free shipping day is in front of us. Um, and so we will be concentrating a lot on what happened over Black Friday weekend, especially in the mobile space, that we can use that data to influence our bid decisions for those days leading into shipping cutoff. Absolutely. All right. So. As we wrap up the year and the holiday, let's also talk about a few things to keep top of mind as we start planning out 2017. So the first one is a, a deadline. Uh, so the deadline to create expanded text ads is quickly approaching. This is one of the biggest ad format changes that we've seen in years. Um, so PMX has been very on top of this with their clients. Um, but after January 30th, advertisers will not be able to create or edit standard text ads. So please do not procrastinate and get yourself in a pickle. Take care of this early and often. Um, as a quick refresher, expanded text ads uh, have two headline fields instead of one. Uh, the headlines will appear next to each other, uh, separated by a hyphen. Uh, depending on the size of your customer screen, they may wrap to a second line. Uh, the, the two description lines that we see now have been merged into one field, so instead of the two 35 character lines, uh, you'll have one 80 character description field, so that gives you a little bit more control of your ads messaging. Uh, the domain of your display URL is now based on the final URL domain, so you will not have to enter your display URL when adding a new uh, or creating a new ad. And what I am most excited about, and with all this talk of mobile, your text ads are now mobile optimized. Uh, so now that expanded text ads are mobile optimized, you no longer have to select uh, mobile device settings when creating or editing a text ad. Um, in fact, the preview of your ad in both desktop and mobile format is generated while you're creating that ad. Uh, a word of advice on ETAs for those who might be creating them on their own. Um, tacking on a second headline uh, completely negates the, some of the performance benefits that we're seeing early, so give yourself time to think 
uh, about the entire ad creative. And we've been doing a lot of work with the PMX team, um, and they're certainly well aware of how to craft a very strong ad, but for those who might be uh, doing your own elsewhere, please keep this in mind. Yeah, we are in good shape. Um, we actually get from our Google team sort of a performance check on how we are in that transition yeah. to ETAs, and so we're, it's looking good, so you don't have to worry too much about that um, in terms of an execution standpoint, but um, it's certainly something we'll be keeping in mind going forward. Um, we do have some data for some clients to compare extended text ad performance to standard text ad performance. Not that it really matters because the standard <laughs> text ads are going away, so it is what it is. But like I said, we are in good shape from an agency standpoint. If you have any questions, you can talk to your paid search um, contact at PMX to understand where your brand is in the transition. The next one is uh, a beta that I wanted to share, and this is customer match uh, for shopping. Uh, this is great for uh, customers who want to build loyalty among or increase sales with uh, new products to existing customers, um, those who want to find new customers who look similar to their existing customers, um, who want to personalize ads uh, based on new versus existing customers, so you can offer discounts, um, set frequency caps, et cetera, um, or gain insights on ad performance with existing customers. Um, this is a beta opportunity open to PMX's clients, so if you're interested, please reach out to your account manager to share more information as well. Uh, the next one is uh, regarding promotion extension. So this is a beta that several of PMX's clients have been already benefiting for. Uh, this is great for customers who want to highlight specific or perennial sales, promotions, discounts, offers, um, or those who are planning um, major events. So for example, looking backwards, um, using this uh, very efficiently for Black Friday or Cyber Monday events. Uh, and the last one uh, I wanted, we've been getting a lot of questions on, um, especially given how many of PMX's clients are retail focused. Uh, show, showcase uh, shopping ads are being continually rolled out for retailers. Um, these are incorporating um, lifestyle images, not so much product images, um, so it's meant to give a little bit more of a brand feel. Um, because this is rolling out automatically, no action is needed, uh, but it's certainly been catching, uh, catching the eye of a lot of our retail clients. Uh, and this is uh, uh, something that we are very proud to announce that Nicole had sort of mentioned we've been sort of testing this and PMX has really been the model uh, for us creating uh, this beta program. Uh, PMX is one of seven agencies nationwide that has been selected for an agency program uh, focused on mobile readiness, mobile site speed, um, and, and mobile user experience. Um, PMX, uh, like I said, actually inspired the program uh, based on a pilot client workshop we conducted in October. Uh, so as a very sneak peek, uh, please keep your eyes peeled for an invite to PMX's agency summit uh, that will be hosted at Google NYC. Uh, in February. We've been working very diligently to bring you an amazing agenda. Uh, it's taken a lot of hands on both Google side, on the PMX side to bring you an amazing agenda. So we are so excited to see you there. Um, and please keep an eye on your inboxes for, for more information. Yep, this is the first um, client summit we've had um, officially. So we're super excited and thankful to Google who's willing to host it at their headquarters in New York for us. Um, and like Jamie said, we'll be sending an invite in the next week or so, and we hope to see you there. We're sending the invite now, so you can plan, for those of you who are not in New York, plan to travel in, in for that February 7th event, and we really hope to see you there. Thanks so much for joining us today. If you have any questions, please submit them. We're sorry about that um, audio issue we had at the end there, but we had gotten in all the content that you guys need for your strategy, so we're feeling great about that. Thank you so much for joining today. And we'll talk to you soon.